Hello, Galaxy. Chris Perillo here, live once again. This time I'm late. <laughs> a few months late. Lego's already released Series 17 of the minifigures line, and I have that as well. Uh, I have not yet opened any of the Series 16 bags, these blind bags, which I'm about to uh, open for the first time uh, to put these in my Lego minifigures collections. Or collection, I should say, not collections. I only have one Lego minifigures collection. If there's only one reason to uh, collect sets, it is to get Lego minifigures. In fact, I've been known uh, to pick up secondhand minifigures, especially the Star Wars ones, from people who are selling them at a pretty good price. So I should have all of them, theoretically. Only one uh, Banana Man. <laughs> I love that uh, Lego's been doing this uh, for the past uh, few series, actually. Oh, I think I need to redo that. Wait, or do I? That's 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 an actual hat, headpiece. Okay, let's do this. There we go. I love it! <laughs> In fact, if I had a duplicate of uh, any one of the minifigures, it would be this guy. No, I love the fact that they've been... Uh, uh, releasing different, uh, like, costumed uh, characters. I'm sorry, I was going to try to straighten his head out just a tiny bit. Um, like, in, in animal uniforms or costumes, um, in, in doing it in such a fashion that it's just fun. <laughs> I have no other way of explaining it. Uh, Banana Man. And I also like that uh, you don't really know the names of each one of these minifigures. I mean, you kind of get a, an idea of what they are just by looking at them. Uh, they are semi-obvious. Get back here, head. Ah! And other piece. Hopefully, we will not lose any of these pieces. One of the reasons why I'm able to do the unbagging now is that uh, Jedi is not around. Otherwise, she would want to join me. And I, as a loving father, would love for her to join me. Although that has to be done... In a very, <clears throat> how shall we say this, careful fashion, because she is under three years of age. Not by much, though. Okay, wait. So we choose? Okay. So we choose whether or not uh, she wears her hair or keeps the uh, uh, hat, the protective helmet on. Oh, sorry about that. I was going to take a look here to see exactly what that black thing is. That's her punching bag? Possibly? Okay, the directions really didn't give any indication. That is, I guess, the only thing I could think of. Why, why would it come with that piece? Uh, if you have any ideas, feel free to let me know. Uh, nice to have an additional hair piece. But you know, honestly, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with this. That's fun. In the clearing stands a boxer with an extra piece over here. And who knows how many of those I'll get. Good song. One of my favorites. Okay. Gotta make sure I get all the pieces out. Sorry, you don't see much action in front of the camera. I've got uh, it pointed down uh, at my desk. We seem to have... Seems to have? Seem to have a woodsman. There's a, like a wolf symbol there on his chest and insignia it would be to sit the hat on oh good call thank you matthew oh my gosh why did i not why did i not see that matthew you're awesome and and todd you as well i apologize for not knowing that ooh sideburns like that nice mutton chops there uh ooh ooh i really like that Hat piece, head piece. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's do this. Let's put his quiver on. It's a woodsman, an archer, who's a part of the wolf clan of some kind. I don't know. Um, you know, in these minifigure series, I tend to appreciate uh, those that, you know, this is definitely unique. It's definitely different. It's ne We've never seen a minifigure designed uh, quite like this. But uh, I tend to appreciate more like the Banana Man types of minifigures because we wouldn't normally see that in a set versus you know how many forest themed um 
many figures have you seen? If I get that on just right, there we go. I do like that uh, hat, that headpiece, the uh, the scarf, the the hood. Uh, that is uh, unique. I've never seen that particular piece for a minifigure before, so that's that's new to me. Now, whether or not that's new to, to Lego is uh, still in question. I, I can't consider myself an expert. I am just an aficionado, a fan. And apparently, we have other fans of Lego, adult fans of Lego, most likely. Oh, yeah. This one's kind of fun. Okay, so... It's, oops, sorry, Spooky Tales. Woo! Oh, I like that. That's so cool, this monochromatic look. It uh, looks like a very sad uh, ghost of sorts. With a, a spider figure. Well, if you'd call it a figure. Let's see if I can get the headpiece on just right. Just almost like goth there. Sorry, the focus is kind of in and out. But I, I, I do like this one. He's kind of like just a sad, dead, undead, um, spooky kind of minifigure. I, I, I just like I like the monochromatic uh, scheme, personally. Uh, we've had a, a goth girl, so maybe this is goth boy in this series. I, I don't like... <laughs> I don't like the spider piece... But there's not much I can do about that right now. Uh, let's see if this one will open up. There we go. I'm going to try to get it in his hands. I wonder if it'll fit. Get him like that. Sometimes this it is more trouble than it's absolutely worth. But theoretically, they've designed it so that I could get it in at least one hand. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to get it in what's doing in this hand then. Sorry, everybody. These are the joys of... Ooh, I definitely do not want to bend that plastic out when it's pinching me. Okay. Is there any other way of doing this? Okay, there we go. Just like so. Spooky Tales. Goth Boy. You will stand there. And I will move on. Should have 16 of them total, which is fine by me. I don't know. I've really yet to meet a minifigure that I did not like. I certainly appreciate some more than others. Oh, we've got another mariachi singer here. Or at least his pants. Uh, I believe that uh, we've seen uh, another mariachi style. Where'd the head go? Uh-oh. <laughs> Hang on. Don't move, anybody. <laughs> I lost the head. Uh, at least I think we've had another uh, mariachi. I know we had one uh, in an earlier uh, series that uh, had nachos. Let's see if we can... Sorry, I'm going to try to do this such that you can see it. See, there's the, the stud there. I'm going to try to get it so that it at least won't move off there. Okay, now let's get a sombrero on. Really, really nice. Look at the, uh, look at the design there. Wow, that's nice. Now, I know we've had maracas before, but, uh, to my knowledge, now this is the first time I've seen a, a, uh, an acoustic guitar. I think we've uh, seen an electric guitar in earlier minifigures, uh, series. This is really nice. Oh, wonderful detail. And hopefully that, uh, guitar won't pop off. As I move along. Another reason why I appreciate that uh, they all come with uh, stands. Their own stands. Not just to have an additional piece. Sorry, everybody. Let's try to get them all in the frame if I can. So you all have something to look at as I flip into the next bag. I, I did not feel for these, by the way. Uh, the only set of uh, Lego minifigures that I ever felt for, you might remember from the vlog. Oh. Um, it was the uh, 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 Disney line and I ended up with so many duplicates. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. This is cool. I personally ah, have never had heads roll. Heads are gonna roll. But my desk must be on an incline. Um wow. I've never never uh personally touched a mini 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 fig. Look at this infant. Look at this baby. 
<laughs> and, and this piece here is so tiny. This is, okay, so y'all know kind of the size of a, a regular head. Let's go ahead and get um, mother put together here. Awesome mom with a, a doggy shirt. And, well, look at this pigtails. Okay, wait, is this, is that supposed to be a, a big sister? Maybe? Okay, maybe that is a big sister. A babysitter? No. Just a very young, hip mom with a bottle in one hand. Baby bottle. That's the first time I've seen that piece. And I'm assuming she could hold the uh, infant in her other hand. Just uh, pop it in there. <laughs> wow. Okay, it's just so small. This, <laughs> this is so tiny. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of exciting. It's it's so small. How else is she supposed to hold the baby in bottle apart from like that? It has to be a sister or a babysitter. I mean, just because the, the, the pigtails like that. I don't think I've ever seen Diana wear her hair like that. Not that I, I think she couldn't. She should, actually. It's a very, uh, uh, with her, her, it'd be a very Marianne type of look. If you're a fan of uh, Gilligan's Island, like I would. Okay, okay, sorry everybody, my hand is getting in the way. Uh, the joys of doing these things live. Oh, cool, it's like a Halloween trick-or-treat bucket there. Oh, and it's got a handle too, okay, hang on. That's nice, I really like that piece. Snap. So precise. Ah, get back your head, I caught you. Okay, I'm gonna... Take him off of there. Ah, trick-or-treater then. So we've got a, a little tail. Put it up like this. I don't think it really matters which direction it goes necessarily, but I'm going to set it up like so. Sorry, sister. Ah. Now, before too long, we need to put on the wings. I'm assuming then it would go like that. He's got a silly face. Yep, just one face on this one. Trick or treat. Get it on just like so. Actually, I like those wings a lot. Um, more so uh, than the uh, soft goods. I'm not a fan of the soft goods. Uh, across the line, honestly. Wait a minute, can I... Okay, well, the first thing, the first rule of LEGO Minifigure Club is that you put the pieces on correctly like so because if you don't you won't be able to accommodate every single piece there we go so the wings were down or supposed to be down i assume let's go ahead and put the uh trident here the pitchfork oh man uh first time i've <clears throat> had a problem with the tridents uh, and the first time I've seen the uh, the wing piece and the uh, the tail piece like this, it's rather nice. Okay, let's go ahead and accommodate the bucket in this hand then. It's in. Let's hold it up. There we go. Trick or treat. I really like that. Very unique piece. You can stand back there. All right. Now, the question is, when am I going to get to uh, Series 17 unbagging? I don't know. Maybe tonight, if I'm so inclined. I also have to do the Lego Batman minifigures series. And uh, I would plan on doing it in uh, much the same capacity. Because this is much more fun to do with other people virtually than it is to do on my own. Because otherwise, I'd just be, you know, kind of talking to myself. Okay. We are assembling a pirate. See, I, that's the thing. It's like I, I feel like I have plenty of pirates. Of course, this is a, a rather unique piece. It's like a bald head and a bandana. I, at least I've never seen that particular piece before. That's nice. Uh, definitely seen uh, the sword. No need to reinvent that necessarily. But, you know, see, I look at the pirate and, and think, oh, that's, 
that's pretty commonplace. You know, it's it, it's it's not incredibly unique. You know, compared to the banana guy or the let's see the the devil trick or treater, or the the goth uh, boy or the mariachi singer. You know, it's just like we have plenty of pirate sets, but they must sell. Otherwise, uh, Lego would not uh, continue to include them. So if you're a fan of pirates, there you go. I'm a fan of the pirates of the Caribbean. Have a couple of those sets, and really like them. But, you know, like I say, usually what chases me, or I guess uh, draws me to a set, is specifically the minifigures. Ah! Man, these heads today are going everywhere. See, ages five and up. Well, I'm definitely up. Oh, wait, hang on. There's also, there we go, yeah, small parts, not for children under three years. What did I say at the very beginning? Okay. Interesting. Gold uh, gold bracelet, sorry. Just off, uh, off focus there. Ooh, nice scimitar. Wow, it's a huge scimitar. In fact, uh, there's a stud there uh, for any other possible piece. And it looks like we have a uh, goatee. And, oh, I guess I didn't affix the uh, uh, sword very well. I mean, back there. With a, a turban. An Arabian knight, possibly. Better turn it up. Turn it up to 11! We've seen a, a lot of warriors in uh, uh, other minifigure series, so I don't I don't get as excited about those. Come on, there we go. You are definitely on now. All right. We shouldn't have any duplicates here. <laughs> The heads, they're just like, you know, one of us is going to make it onto the floor. I swear we will. Ha ha. Here we go. Did I get everything? I'm not cutting the bag open all the way, and I probably should. But I think uh, there's only two uh, figures with uh, soft goods in this particular series, so shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Except making sure... That I do everything like I should. Oh, uh, a dog show award winner. A very happy dog show award winner. Is that the character from uh, the movie, Dog Show? Wait, wasn't that the name of the movie? Is that a Scotty? No, Westy. That's a Westy there. I'm seeing if I can get him onto a stud there. Come on. Okay, I can... It, it, see, there, it's... Man, I don't know if I can. He doesn't want to fit in there, so... Man, how else am I supposed to stand him up? Hang on, let me, let me go ahead and cons consult the uh, Book of Armaments. Uh, it doesn't really show you how to accommodate the, uh, the Westie. First time I've ever seen a Westie as a, a Lego minifigure. That's nice. Of course, I say that as I <clears throat> think I have hands that are a little too large for uh, Lego bricks. All right, this is the way they're going to stand. Uh, winner is happy with the trophy and a blue ribbon. Number one, dog biscuit, the giveaway right there, and then a Westie. That's unique. See, you wouldn't, I, I'd imagine, find that uh, particular figure in a set. Well, possibly a city set if they ever did, like, a dog show. What? The head, once again, <laughs> was trying to escape. But it did not make it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. This, uh... This uh, figure looks like it's ready for action, like a covert spy. Oh yeah, look at that headset. Yeah. Hang on. 
Oh, look at that hair. Dude. That's awesome. Oh, I love that hair. I don't think I've ever seen that uh, hair piece before. Not to be confused with a hair piece and then uh, uh, some binoculars. Like, I'd assume night vision binoculars if I get them on the way they need to go on. And there's little uh, notches in there. There you go. Look at that. Literally, look at that. And I think that is on correctly. I don't know if it's uh, reversible in any capacity. Let's try it the other way, just to see. Because you never know. And I would uh, choose today to clip my nails, if only because I knew I'd be shooting things up close. Because uh, that makes sense. Uh, what do you think? I, I guess I really don't have a, a preference in terms of which way... You know, this might be a burglar. You know, all dressed in black. He's got a headpiece, you know? I mean, an, or a, a, a microphone. Hmm. Interesting. Well, either way, stealthy. Stealthy guy. Oh, dude, I forgot your backpack. <sighs> After all that. Okay, let's get your head back on. Correctly. And your hair. More importantly, center those binoculars. Night vision. That's night vision guy. That's no, nah, dude. He's got a knapsack. That's like ugh, total like burglar. But he's got a logo there. Maybe not. Maybe he's he's a part of a, a syndicate, right? That's 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 what I'm gonna go with. You gotta be careful in slicing through these bags. I'm always afraid that I'm going to punk, uh, you know, not damage a brick necessarily. But, uh, you know, hit one of the soft goods and destroy it. The head is not making a run for it. <laughs> a roll for it, I should say. Okay, we do have a knapsack and uh, khakis. So, ah, a compass and a map. Oh, let's get the knapsack on. A camper. He's a shaggy. He's been out uh, for a couple days now. He's got his compass. He's got his wild hair. This is a, an unbathed, unshowered, unkempt camper. So here's my question. As I'm fiddling with... Sorry. Yes, I apologize to my bricks as they get dropped. Oh, man. Some of these tend to go on more quickly than others, and I don't know if that's due to my coordination or... Or what? And then I give up and just put it in the hand. Ow. Come on. See? Why didn't they just make it a circular piece? Like, see, it's square? But they could have easily made it a, just a, a plain old circle. There we go. Uh, because they've done that before with, like, cookies. At least. Those pieces. Map. There we go. Hang on. What does that say? Which trail does that say? It says Griebel Trail. Griebel Trail. Camper. <laughs> All right, we're getting through. We're getting through. I imagine I know why they don't pre-notch these because uh, I'd I believe that people would stand in the store and actually open them up. Uh oh, that was a very tiny piece. All right, I'm seeing all pieces except for the head. Woohoo! Which I was able to stop. Penguin. Cool. So we must have like an Arctic explorer. And a little oh, camera. Yeah, it's got to be an Arctic explorer. And then, ooh, ooh, hang on, a telephoto lens. Yeah. Kind of. You could use a longer piece, I'd imagine. She is an Arctic explorer, except that... I've got to make sure I <laughs> put her uh, hood on correctly. Very happy Arctic explorer taking pictures of penguins. Pictures of penguins. I don't exactly have her camera being held 
properly, but I don't think anyone is going to complain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Ooh, crud. A couple of uh, ice skates here. And uh, penguin flaps. Boy, this is, this is an all-out penguin set. Penguin head. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I like these. These you don't get to see that often. But wait, they're... Wait. Has, like an ice skating penguin? Why would a penguin need ice skates? <laughs> Seen flipper hands, or flipper arms before. Huh. Okay, like a penguin costume then? Huh. But why, why ice skates? See, I could put the ice skates on, but then it won't stand on the, uh... On the uh, plate here. But I do like that one. Much like with the banana guy. Banana man. Okay, I'm going to put those off to the side. A couple more, folks. And then we will have blasted through a long anticipated <laughs> by me. Not exactly brand new for all. Uh, Lego minifigure series 16. Ooh. Got to be careful. Some small pieces in here. And I believe a soft good. Yep, right there. Put that off to the side. Oop, dang. Oof. A couple of ice crystals, like a ice queen. This this must be an ice queen. Oh man. This is This is one of the reasons why I don't really like the uh, the soft goods, is cause getting them on just right is sometimes a bit of a challenge. Ooh, blue head. Not very happy. But, you know, I can't imagine an ice queen being happy, right? Okay, so... Oh, hang on. I really messed that up. And here's why. Because I gotta get her cape and cowl on. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I like... Okay, she's got two swords and two gems. Wait, is that a gem? What... Okay, hang on, I gotta... I actually have to look at the uh, directions for, for this one. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Okay, did I... Oh, great. I am going to have to go through the bags again, because there is another piece. And I, I dropped the bag to the side. And it's such a piece that I don't know how I'm going to be able to find it. A tiny piece. Uh, and this is why you don't throw your bags away until you're all the way done. And of course, I'm also not wearing my glasses. I may have to look for it later. Oh, found it. Dang, dude. No, I did not. That actually goes to somebody else. Oh, hang on. Okay, I found another little... Boy, this is... No, that's somebody's gun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boy, I really messed up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to go through it afterwards. I'll just go through it afterwards here. Let's go ahead and... Ooh. Which side do I want the shimmer to be on? The outside, I guess. That makes sense. That goes on, and then the cowl. Not exactly my favorite part. But it does look nice once everything's set up. Okay. That's on well enough. What I was looking for is there's kind of a tiara. There's a, a, a part up there that would accommodate it. And I'm trying to figure out what these would be, possibly. Ah, yes. That makes sense, because now... And I will go back and uh, look more carefully for her tiara, which appears to be uh, kind of an icy blue. So I shouldn't have too many difficulties in trying to pick it up. Like, 
visualizing or seeing it. Oh, this one's fun. I like this one. With or without the tiara. That one's a lot of fun. Okay. You'll go back there. I, I will find... <laughs> I will find who the mustache and the gun belong to, or claw, yeah, no, that's a gun, uh, soon, as I move on to the uh, final one. This is the last, and thank you everybody for lasting with me this long. Uh, like I said, it would just be me sitting here, dropping pieces, losing pieces. And rolling heads. Heads are going to roll. Feeling the bag. <laughs> Making sure I got all the pieces out. <laughs> oh. Oh. This one looks nice. Like a... A warrior. Man. I didn't realize my desk was on an incline, but apparently it is. You know what I would love to see? I'm not even joking. Like uh, Tron. Not Tron 2. Tron uh, Lego minifigures. Let's get the... Battle worn armor on. So he's like a cyborg. She, I'm sorry. She is a cyborg. With blue hair. No, a blue helmet. Yeah, no, blue hair. Very nice. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, who, what, what, what does this piece go? Oh, man. I'm really gonna. Have, oh, wait, hang on. Ah, I found it. Ah, ha, ha. It did come out. Okay, well, I'm glad I went through the bags anyway. I found the, uh, the tiara for the uh, Ice Queen, and I am going to have to <laughs> find who belongs to these three spare pieces, but I'm, I'm going to do that at some point after I wrap up this video. So there you go, uh, Lego Minifigures Series 16. Very happy to uh, have these. I've been uh, collecting Lego. I've been an adult fan of Lego for eons, well, at least since I was an adult, and uh, these will join my minifigure collection. Uh, one of the uh, the bigger videos I've ever done, uh, put out there, actually has over a million views, is LEGO Minifigure Series 1. I don't think this one's going to fare as well, but you know what, I'm just as happy with these LEGO Minifigures as I have been with the earlier series of minifigures, so everybody, let's let's, let's get you all into, into frame there. Do we have everybody? Okay, we at least have a part of everybody, except for those who are out there watching. I love you. I appreciate you. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.